Well, we've brought you continuing coverage of local bars, restaurants, and breweries, and all of the facing an extreme decline in sales just over the last few months. Kegs are sitting unused in most of these shuttered businesses, and our Abby Dodge shares how this could mean thousands of dollars is going down the drain. Packaging done by the co-founder and one employee up front. Perfect. It's a common desolate scene at many breweries during what should be a bustling beer season. This is the big launch where everyone kind of puts out their projections and plans for, for a good beer season. This year is shaping up to be anything but. I spent three hours and only saw one customer, Chris Holbert. He says he prefers local beverages over what you can find in a big box store. One, it supports the local community. Two, they have a wide variety of different stuff. So it's kind, of, it's kind of fun to try the different varieties of beers they have. Crane Brewery's co-founder Chris Myers says kegs are sitting empty in back rooms with nowhere to go. They're all going out of code and, and I don't know what they're going to do. Technically beer doesn't expire, but past a certain date it won't taste like it should. Beer itself doesn't spoil, it doesn't really go bad, you can't get sick from beer, but you lose a lot of that freshness. To hopefully get some of their kegged beer out into the community, Crane Brewing put a post up on their Facebook page offering them at a discount but not everyone has equipment to keep a keg in their house. There's going to be a lot of a lot of kegs dumped before the end of this. Robert says he would buy a keg if he had the right tools. Yes, absolutely. We've been thinking about it, but we just don't have a, a way to disperse the beer at currently, I guess. To mitigate some of the losses, Crane Brewery is working with its distributor. The brewery bought all these kegs back in exchange for cans just to keep product moving. Myers says they're looking forward to getting product flowing again. We're just hoping more than anything people are more aware than ever about supporting local. From kegs to kitchens. In Raytown, Abby Dodge, KCTV5 News.